Welcome to my workshop. You are watching Casual DIY channel. And today I'm gonna present you something that is very niche, okay? It's not popular at all. Um, however, it does have a very specific job. And if you need a tool to do that job, well, this could be the perfect tool for you. Mainly is the infrared laser, okay? This one is from longer, two watts of power, don't need much more, it's only for engraving. And that will fit the B1 version of the laser that Longer has and the Ray 5 as well. Now, what can you actually do with that type of a laser? Well, if you already played around with diet lasers, you know they will not engrave anything in brass or copper. Same, they will struggle with steel, and also with gold, silver, platinum, and everything like that. This is where this module comes into play. If you are working with jewelry and you want to engrave something and make patterns, well, this is the tool for you. Let me just take you through the process of changing the modules on the B1 machine. I'm gonna show you the whole process, very quick and simple, and then we're gonna run some tests so you can actually see what a module with two watts can achieve and what engravement quality we can get. So the normal lasers, they are blue lasers. This one is red. And the spot size of this is absolutely tiny, not 0.03 by not 0.03, which means you can get to much higher DPI and quality of engravement. And hopefully I'm gonna show you that in today's video. In the upgrade package, you obviously do get the module itself. You've got a new power brick, uh, some cables, instructions, and uh, an adapter for the uh, motherboard just over here, and some bits and pieces. First of all, I'm just gonna remove the old module. Next, I'm gonna disconnect all the wires. With the machine upside down, we're gonna remove the Y motor wiring. And to help us out with this task, I'm just gonna remove this plastic cover. It's just gonna be a little bit easier. Now we've got access over here, but we need to take off uh, the pulley. So on the other side, I'm gonna remove the tension fixture. Let's get back to the other side. Now we can quite easily remove the cable. And there we go, that's the old cable out. And in the same way, we need to install the new one. All the bits and pieces I'm gonna thread through first. The middle wire, that goes to the Y motor at the back. So we need to thread that through the channel we've got over here. And we can connect it back up. With the belt back on, make sure it's at the correct tension. And we can now install back that plastic cover. Now let's connect the rest of the wires and install the module. With everything in place, make sure the module has got free movement, extend it fully, and then do some cable management so the cables are not in the way. Well, I have almost forgot to swap the adapter on this. That's what you get in the package as well. So uh, let's quickly swap that over. I'm just gonna take out the main wire here and we're just quickly gonna change this over. And with the modules swapped over, now we can start doing some tests. Well, this module is for engraving. You're not gonna cut anything with it. It's only two watts, but that's its dedicated task and job to engrave those materials that the normal blue diet lasers cannot. Therefore, I'm gonna run some tests on brass, copper, and metal to see what type of uh, performance we can expect and what are the best settings for each material. And then we will engrave a couple of things with some nice graphics to see the true quality 
that this machine can actually produce. So I'm gonna get my laptop, connect everything up and we'll start testing. I've got my brass plate waiting here for the test. First of all though, we need to establish the focal points of this laser and it is very important to do it super accurately. On the side here, you've got a foot that retracts and as you can see, that is not the correct position of the foot. It needs to be fully extended. So you just push it until it cannot go any further until it actually disappears and levels with the side of the module. And now you can lower the module until that little foot touches the material, lock it back in place, and you can retract the foot. And now we are ready to go. Okay, let's have a look at the results on brass and i have to say look at that 100 percent power 500 millimeters per minute it's really dark you can see different colors in this row and you can see that it is getting lighter and lighter over here but still even at 20 percent power 4000 millimeters per minute it still manages to engrave brass with no major issues so that's good going and look at the uh, quality on the engraving itself on the letters now this is done in 300 dpi but you can go a lot higher than this the maximum dpi you can go with this module is 850 so you can get some immaculate engraving we will test that a little bit later on uh, when we're going to be engraving some graphics but now let's run the same test on copper Okay, I think we've got some bizarre uh, results over here, guys, on copper. Check that out. 100% at all the speed settings. There's like nothing in the middle. Is it creating too much heat? As you can see the rest of them, you can actually see different types of colors. A little bit greenish here going into blue to the top i'm not sure if the camera will catch this in the middle obviously absolutely fantastic 40 percent at 3000 looks great but uh, that's a little bit bizarre tell you what out of curiosity i'm gonna do 100 percent power just on the side here just to see if it was something that i've done wrong settings or something let's have a look again and now well we did manage to get something at 500 millimeters per minute, 100% power. But then again, <laughs> with the higher speeds, not much in the middle. So uh, yeah, a bit strange reaction of uh, brass to 100% power of the laser. However, the rest of them look very, very good. So it's a good test to do to know exactly what you can expect at what settings. This will be very helpful. Next, a normal piece of steel. Again, we actually managed to get different shades on steel. As you can see, the darkest at 100% power and the slowest speed, but well, to be fair, that goes into like grey or even blue over here, a little bit greenish, brown over here. Really interesting uh, results here, guys. Hope you're going to be able to see it on the camera. And even at 20% power, at 4,000 millimeters per minute, we are still getting really decent engravement. This module can also engrave stone. So I do have a piece of slate and let's run the test and see what we can get. Really interesting results over here, guys. Look at the different shades depending on power and speed from this yellowish to white right up to grey. Right, so we established the performance of this module on our materials. Now it's time to actually check the true quality of engravement. 
I'm going to engrave a photo of me on each of these materials to see what quality we can actually get. Well, I have to say, I am well impressed with this. It, that is super stunning. It's actually sh really hard to show on the camera because of the reflections, but the quality is absolutely insane. Never seen anything like this, guys. Let's do the same thing on brass. Okay, check this out. Also, again, an absolutely stunning performance. Really, really incredible. Okay, so both of these, the brass and the copper, they were run at 500 dpi. I want to try 800 dpi on a piece of slate. Let's see what we can get with that. That's the engravement on the slate. <laughs> very, very interesting. And again, the detail, look at that on the shirt and everything, that looks really, really cool. I like the hair, it came out absolutely superb as well. Right, let's do the same DPI setting on a piece of steel. I'm just gonna use this one on the reverse, same photo. I think I'm gonna go with 3000 millimeters per minute, 80% power, and as I said, 800 DPI. It's like a photo. Absolutely remarkable quality, guys. I have never seen an engravement that clear with that much detail. If you're looking for a laser to engrave metals with quality like this, well, that's the module for you. Okay, I think we have quite clearly established that the quality of engraving metals with this infrared uh, laser module is absolutely perfect, okay? The quality is there and with different types of settings you can achieve different types of result exactly matching what you may want for your project. However, out of curiosity, yes, it can engrave stone and different types of metals. Can it engrave wood? So I've got a piece of plywood and let's just have a look what's gonna happen. Well, the short answer to that question is no. <laughs> it's definitely not marking wood at all. I've actually changed the settings as well. So I initially started with 4,000 millimeters per minute, 100% power, and I've seen it was leaving no marks. So I would dial down the settings to 2,000 millimeters per minute and still the same result. So this module works absolutely fabulous on metals and stone, slate, everything like that. However, not so good on plywood or wood in general. Okay, so we had plenty of tests, but let's have a small, tiny project, a real life project that you can use for your business or for yourself, make some gifts for your closest, especially with Christmas around the corner. Well, I've bought this very uh, cool uh, gift and I just want to personalize it a little bit with a sign, okay? So nothing better to do that, than this module. Let's have a go at it. And check that out. <laughs> that came out super smart. Absolutely fantastic engraving. The quality is fabulous, okay? Really, really happy how this turned out. Fantastic. <laughs> If you are thinking about engraving, for example, rings from gold or from silver, you can get a rotary accessory for the B1 frame and you should be able to do just that. So it gives you another option of a product you can make and sell to your potential customers. But even simple things like this, you know, it opens an opportunity for a business. And to be absolutely honest with you, it is a very niche product. So it is a perfect investment for a small business that wants to produce very unique items. 
I hope that today's test gave you a bit of understanding of what this module can do, how it performs and what you can actually expect from it. Now, if you are interested in the module or the B1 frame, I'm going to leave some links down below in the description of this video so you can go have a look, check it out, what it's all about and read a little bit more on it. Now, if you do have any more questions with regards to this, let me know down below in the comments section. However, don't go just yet. I've got some really cool playlists over here with plenty of different videos on different topics. So click on those and maybe I'll see you on my next video there. Take care.